thing. I want to say a couple things about happiness. Because it, it is a nebulous term, and it's an overused term, and it's got a lot of assumptions baked into it that everyone may not agree with. So let me say a few things about happiness. First off, if you go to Google, wherever our ages, and you type how to be, just those three words, how to be, you know how it suggests stuff for you, right? It's, which is a fun game to play, like, if you're really bored. Right? <laughs> um, but if you type how to be, the first drop down is happy. But we want to prove that point. Okay, so what did I do for the book? Well, I sifted through over 300 positive psychology studies. Positive psychology is a new emerging field of psychology, started 20 years ago by Martin Seligman and Mihaly Czech Mihaly, um, down in Pennsylvania. And the body of research is emerging and exploding very quickly. Uh, Going through the studies is a painful process, but I was trying to tease out the, the smallest possible things you could do to have the biggest possible impact on your happiness. And what I've done for you today is bring for you the big five. Anil had a lot of interesting little suggestions for the small things that you can do that form useful habits, which if you do every day, um, lead to a net result much happier life. I'd almost characterize them as the little 1% things that add up to like a 50 or 100% difference. So I'm looking forward to applying those on a daily basis. Okay, so taking a step back, zooming back out, what we've just talked about are three of the nine things I've learned, studied, and researched about happiness. This is the biggest lever to have a better day at work than everything else. Every single positive outcome we can test for shoots up if you're happier. Activity goes up 31%, sales go up 37%, creativity goes up three times. It's something we all want in our lives, in our teams, in our homes, in our workplaces. How do you get there? First, you be happy at the beginning, not at the end. You invest in it with a daily practice that only takes 20 minutes. Then you create space in your life. What can you automate and regulate and effectuate to make room for the big decisions that matter. And when you face those big decisions, and you bump up against the marathon you want to run, or the presentation you want to give at work, or whatever it is, you just do it. You put action in front of motivation to trick your brain into thinking you are.